Uh, Ms. Hilal, what is your main reflection based on today's discussion on the current gaps and areas of improvement for future implementation of the right to food guidelines? Thank you very much uh, asking me this question. Actually, it was a very important meeting for me because this was the first official meeting that I attended and it was very valuable uh, conversation or interaction, what you can call that how the uh, governments and the uh, civil society organizations look at the issue. The basically, the positive view that they always talk about the um, the glass half full, half empty, and some representatives looked at the empty way, some representatives looked at the full way. But the, the most important thing is an ongoing process. Even after 10 years, we really talk about that guidelines, guidelines are important, it is there, but we need to put these guidelines from the books and reports to the domesticate, domesticated or what you call uh, implementing in the on the ground. That's what the second and the most difficult job that we have to do it. For this, we need a civil society, we need the governments, we need the uh, local people, and uh, all UN agencies that look at from the different perspective how we're gonna make real for real people and for real problems on the ground to deal with the right to food and uh, eradicating uh, poverty, also including the social uh, structures and social policies in this very important area.